Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, December 8th. We are in week two of our Advent devotions, so let's begin by lighting our two candles for the week. Today we're reading from Isaiah. Uh, chapter 40, verses 1 through 2, and we're reading from the devotional, Our Hope and Expectation, from Augsburg Fortress, um, which Isaiah is so appropriate right now. So as I read and, and uh, think about the, the context that we're in right now, more than the historical Isaiah, because it is very appropriate for right now. Um, and then to ponder, uh, the writer has us reading from the first verse of the hymn from the ELW, uh, Comfort, Comfort, Now My People. So we begin with the scripture reading from chapter 40 of Isaiah. Comfort, comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. And then the hymn, Comfort, comfort now my people, tell of peace, so says our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, mourning under sorrow's load. To God's people now proclaim that God's pardon waits for them. Tell them that their war is over, God will reign in peace forever. Comfort, comfort now my people. And this is what our writer says. God's people, Israel, had been in exile, living in a foreign land, yearning for home and the life they had known. But God was not done with them. The Lord announces to all heaven and earth that the time of sadness is over. God remains their God and will bind up their wounds. They may have sought after idols and failed to uphold their part of the covenant, but God will never revoke God's promises. The faithful one will reestablish them. We have all made mistakes and sinned. We've ruptured relationships with others, with creation and with God. We've participated by sins of commission or omission in the systemic isms of our time, racism, ageism, consumerism, and so on. We have much to confess, confess and repent of. We've caused and received heartache through our own egos and brokenness. Still, the Most High calls out for comfort for all the people of God. God speaks tenderly to us, proclaiming that our time of heartache and exile shall not last forever. Is that good news or what? Nothing and no one can banish us from God's abundant love and grace. We have a place as God's beloved people today and forever. Let us pray. God of faithfulness, even in our suffering and our heartache, you bring us tender comfort. And we thank you for that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, there is hope. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Um, God will always be there to take care of us. So he's there to take care of you today, too. So have a great day. Have a blessed day. Um, I see the animals are busy at it this morning, so they'll probably, you know, they get me up early and then they go and take a nap about an hour later. So go figure. I'm going to go to work, though. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.